and welcome to the shift my name's francisco rojas as i hold my glasses very tightly like this <laughs> good evening wow. good evening nick earnshaw my voiceover voice here i am holding my glasses i don't know why i'm doing it like that it's stupid how are you bud i don't know that that felt a little evil <laughs> to start evil. the show felt <laughs> like like you were the Joker or something like a weird a weird Joker a weird well, bad which, guy. Oh, well, no, that's which, how we started. Which Joker are we talking about? Are we talking about Novak Djokovic. Are we talk about Nikolai Jokic. Are we talking about uh, the Joker from Batman. The the Joker the, the circus Joker. There's like a lot of Jokers. Which Joker am I? I was I was talking like the Batman, like bad guy, evil. Yeah. That that's how it felt to start the show huh. from you. That's the, that's the I, energy I was I was feeling and exuberated from you. You, do you, I, I get that. Do you think that in this duo, the, the dynamic duo that we are, do you think that there is a villain and a a good guy here? Like, do you think that like I'm the villain and you're like, you know what I'm saying? That's hard to tell because I feel like we both play both sides sometimes. On yeah, so we're, we're, you know? we're good. Yeah, we're good role players. I feel like. So I, so pose, we should pose that to the audience. Like that's a poll. Yeah, question. oh, that's a I, that's a poll question. Yes, let's do it. Let's uh, yeah. If you could, yeah. If you want to do that, I know you're good at the graphics. We'll have to get, you know, both of our faces, like as just just our faces, of us like smiling or something, uh, and put it on <laughs> all social media and say, pick your villain, pick your hero, which ones are which. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's a, yeah. I don't know. I I, I could play. I both. feel like I could play both. I, I feel like I'm in my villain era. I feel like I feel like I'm in my villain right. era. <laughs> right. I don't even know what you what you mean by that. But like, I feel like Just here's stay, the thing, though. I, it, it's funny. Because, okay. All right. <laughs> after the show, uh, I feel like like early on in the baseball season, we you know we had the whole Ellie thing, right? I felt like I was the villain because, you know, I was being all Mr. Negative about like the, well, I was right. Obviously I was right in the end, but at the same time, like Ellie was hot. Ellie was exciting. And it almost felt like I was a villain and you were, you know, you're being the Ellie stand that you are. But at the same time, I'm trying to think of how to put this. I, I thought I had this in my head. Like, I felt like there were things that you were saying that made you the villain as well. Like you were saying, Oh, all-star game. Oh, you should be all-star game. I'm playing 15 games. Like, no, like you're a villain in that case because you're an idiot. I See, <laughs> that was actually really I'm, mean. I'm, I'm, I'm the villain. <laughs> you are, you gotta be the villain. I think the only time I could no, Yeah. You are the villain. You know why you want to hear, you know why? I mean, you're the one wearing the different jerseys all the time. And everyone's coming at you. You're the bad guy. You are the bad guy. You're you claim kinda, to be this Philly fan. I'm an instigator. You're going against the grain. Yeah, yeah. You're you probably so right. That, that's villainous. I, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. Like it, it's interesting. I'm I'm curious to hear from the crowd. At at uh, I don't. I'm, we don't have a phone number. I was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> this is not sports radio. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, let's get right you're to it. Work, we're gonna get right, we're, this, we're gonna try this right to it. How the heck does Major League Baseball think they want to have an in-season tournament? In-season tournament, my butt. Are you kidding me? Have you seen what the NBA I'm... has done? No one gives a crap. No one cares. Ratings are up, and it's a facade. It's a facade. They're just basketball fans. They're watching basketball like they always do. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, ratings are up. I don't know. Is this a I, is this a fad? Is this just a fad in sports? I mean, seriously, is it just a fad in sports? It might be. I, that, like soccer done it for a long time. Soccer done These it for not a long so time. Look, basketball is not soccer. Baseball is not soccer. They're their own entities, their own sport. Just enough, enough. And my whole thing is, man, like my whole thing, Major League Baseball doesn't need one because. It's already competitive enough. It's not like they have an issue of like baseball players not trying. But at this, you know, even if the teams are bad, like baseball players are trying to pad their stats. 
whether it's uh, for their career, whether it's for money, and whether it's just for, you know, just both of those combined. So, you know, baseball is, a, you know, is the biggest stat sport ever, like literally ever. It's, you know, when we think about yeah. baseball, you think of stats. So I, baseball is already competitive enough. As, you know, not now with the seventh wild card, like it's even more competitive. This year it was kind of weird, but, you know, the D-backs got to the World Series. So baseball is already competitive enough. They don't need a tournament like this. Like the NBA, I understand yeah. they're trying to do something because they're having issues with competition early on, especially in the regular season. So I, I think it's dumb, but I also, I understand that like they're trying to do something. Major league baseball doesn't, yeah. doesn't need to do this because they're already competitive. That's the first point I'm going to make. I'll, I'll let you go a little bit here. I know you want to go. I have some other points to make, but I want to hear what you think. I, and I, I'm going to echo, like I, I give the NBA credit for trying something new and, you know, wanting to improve their product. I'm all good with that. It's fine. I just don't agree with how they're going about it. I'm not a big fan of in-season tournament. Eh, it's just, it doesn't do it. It just doesn't do it for me. I'm just not a fan of it. That's just me. Whatever. Um, for, for Major League Baseball, I mean, the ratings thing, the ratings were up throughout the year for most teams, right? And what what other sport is baseball really going up against in the dog days of summer, right? I, I mean, this is kind of when they want to play it. And And first of all, you have the World Baseball Classic every couple of years. You already kind of have a tournament before the season starts. So what do we need to add another one? Why? Why do we need to add another one? There's no point. It just it would it just would be nonsensical. Baseball's done enough tinkering over the past couple of years um, to the game. They don't need to do. They don't. It would be trying too hard. Honestly, I think this. I, I'm a proponent of you know having less games. To be honest, I think that would drive a little more. Uh, like so I, i'm i'm on that kind of boat like less games will make the games more meaningful in my opinion that's just where i'm at i i don't think I, but i don't even think you really need to tinker with that right now either you've done enough tinkering enough with the tinker you have the world baseball classic every couple of years it's interesting people were excited this year seeing otani versus trout that matchup was awesome like that's great to have that in the beginning of the season cool you don't need to have an in-season tournament with the major league clubs you could do a a, a, new, a number of different things like doing the game out of field of dreams doing a little league classic every year those are the types of things major league baseball needs to do not not an in-season tournament it makes no sense stop with the in-season tournaments the, 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 the leagues are getting in-season tournament happy it's you know this is the professional level this is not aau this is not little league travel baseball um it, it, enough enough it's not college this is the professional level i'm not i'm not about it maybe in the minor leagues it, minor leagues maybe you can make that work right that would be pretty cool to maybe generate a little more interest in the minor league level at that's that i would be a, a, a proponent of the major league level i don't think there's a need for it totally agree we don't disagree at all another thing i want to mention like what are the reasonings being like an all-star showcase do you see that yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, that this was, isn't I, the marketing that I was talking about. This isn't what I'm no. this is what either of us were talking about. No, not at all. Not at all. I you have an all-star listen, game, an all-star weekend, or whatever. I yeah, you have listen, you have the home run derby, you have the all-star game. You have I, and honestly, I wish the all-star game had its meeting again. I want that to continue to create the home field advantage in, in the World Series. I know I don't think you're I don't think you're a proponent of that, but I am. I love that. I, I love that aspect of it. I thought that was great. But and you have you have the futures game too. This is all great stuff. You have the celebrity softball game, all great stuff. Don't need an in-season tournament. It's not needed. It what are you going to win? Like the players, oh, they're going to get the, the $500,000 at like the NBA. The guy at the end of the bench is going to get a nice paycheck. All right, great. Like what's that do for the consumer? What's that do for the fan? I, mm. uh, it's not a championship. It's not a championship. Talk your talk. You get a trophy for You're it. talking right now. I mean, what does it really mean? Are you the hero or the villain right now? I don't get it. I'm the, I, I should be the damn hero. The, the major, <laughs> major League Baseball would be the villain to do this. Uh, I'm gonna sit back. And have my wood. <laughs> I think that, that I think that's one of the dopest moments we ever had on the show. Right there is what you just what you just did right there. That was that was phenomenal. What I dispute? <laughs> what I dispute? Yeah, that, just that like was literally. That was that was that that was phenomenal. 
That was fantastic. You were just, you were in your element right there. Wow. Yeah. I mean, hey, man, I don't really, we already hit on both of these things. I I don't, you know, I I, I get it. Look, I I think there's some things that need to be changed with all star like game and whatever. Like, I think the home run derby still we we yeah. we argued about that you're you I, I guess i was the villain maybe i don't know actually i think people are people are split yeah. on that but that's the all-star showcase doesn't though do it for me um my other points were or we've already been said um nba in season tournament showing why it's not the best idea now maybe maybe it gets popular down the road i don't know but right now i don't see how it's gonna be popular for the nba i don't see how it would be popular for major league baseball. Again, I said baseball doesn't need this because they're already a competitive sport. They don't have the issue in season with games. They don't have it. And then like you mentioned, my last point was going to be world baseball classic. We do it what once every three years, right? Yeah. It's, it's not every year. It's every couple of years. It's like once every two or three years. I forget. It's it's not four because it's not the like the Olympics, but it's like it's once every two to three years, and that's enough. You don't. I mean, it's and and that now that I even think about it, my God, why would you want it every single year? I don't know. So soccer does this like every year. I I mean, apparently they like it in soccer. I don't know, but I don't really watch soccer, so I don't really have much of an opinion on that. Soccer, but they've. They've always done it though. Like they've always done stuff like that. The G League and the uh, the G League, the affiliate to the NBA, they do right. an in season cup. That's why I would I was saying like for the for minor league baseball, you know, if you want to grow that aspect of baseball, sure, this would be a great idea for that level of play. Right. Not at the right. professional level, not in the major leagues. Minor leagues, I think it would be really cool. It would generate some spark, some interest. Um, uh, you know, having maybe different leagues play against each other, whatever, fine, great, that would be cool. Major league level can't do it, can't do it. Totally agree, and yeah, I like like, and I I think this last thing here, like the kind of comparison you said about like doing it in like the uh, doing it in the minors, like they've done a lot of experimenting in the minors, which is where where you yeah. should put the experiment, right? They first initially had the pitch clock and you know, other stuff like the, uh, the, they're trying um, the robo lumps, right? Robo-lumps, exactly. Exactly. Bases, all that. Exactly. Stuff. So it makes, I, I would agree with that sentiment. So at the end of the day in season tournament, no, we're not doing it. Major league baseball, stay away from it. I don't know how much no. of this is. Uh, Major league baseball is serious about it. I know you sent me the New York Post article. I wasn't able to read it because you have to have a subscription, but I read another article that yeah. kind of like was the same, you know, basically the same thing. And yeah. um, it seems like baseball is definitely pondering the idea. And I don't love it. Just being real. I do not love it. Yeah, That's I it. wouldn't, I would not be a fan of it. Enough. This is like becoming a fad across sports. We're gonna see the NHL yeah. try and do something like this. Like, no, uh, no. I mean, there. We could also bring up the conversation of, you know, I, would the Olympics work in baseball? Probably not. I, I don't know if you could pause the season like you could in hockey before they used to do that. I don't know how much that would work. NBA too. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, would, I love uh, when the NHL like, like in the it. summer. You. you, you yeah, the NHL when they did it, they it was cool. Um, you know, the NBA they they didn't have to pause their season because they played in the summer. Um, the NHL had to because they played during the winter. So I I don't know if baseball would be open to doing that because I know they brought back baseball at the last Olympics. If I'm not mistaken, um, I I know that I think Rob Manford spoke on that saying it would probably be logistically wouldn't really work. Um, but honestly, that would be better than having an in-season tournament if they tried doing something along the, those lines, uh, in my opinion. That would be better because it would be you know the best of the best competing on the biggest stage against everyone in the world. But you kind of have that with the World Baseball Classic anyway, so there's really no point. Um, so enough with the tournaments. We have one. It's cool. It's great. It works. People who got excited about it last time, keep it that way. Agreed. All right. Um... I don't know if you had dinner yet. Uh, I had Chick Fil A like a couple of hours ago. Okay. I don't know if that that definitely 
classifies a hundred percent as meat and potatoes. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You, you had meat you had fri- with the chicken, French fries. Yeah. yeah, and the French fries too. The waffle fries, you know, the famous waffle fries from Chick Fil A. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, oh, they're the best. They're the best. Yeah, I my order, my go to is a Chick Fil A sandwich, OG, no pickles, uh, five <laughs> nuggets, waffle fries, and a sweet tea. That's the damn. You're you're a big. You're 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 fat. Yeah, yeah. An O a sandwich and the the nuggets. Yeah, only five nuggets. Wow. Only five. That's I only get the five nuggets. That's a lot of chicken. That's a lot of protein. Pretty good. A lot of protein. Look at that. Ah! <laughs> don't, don't embarrass yourself. Don't do it. I won't uh, let you. I won't let you embarrass yourself, Nick Earnshaw. Get that protein. Oh, uh, yeah. You know who's getting Come that on, protein? protein. You know go. who's getting that? Hey, you know what else is on those? At least for me, I get that cheese on top of my sandwich, right? I get that cheddar. You know who else is getting that cheddar? Jackson Chorio. He's getting that cheddar. He is. Eight years, $80 million for the 19-year-old Brewers prospect. My gosh, he gets an extension. The kid is a top three prospect, I believe, right now. He might be number two. Yeah. In the top 100 on MLB.com. The kid's supposed to be really good. 20-plus homers last year. 44 stolen bases, I believe. This kid's supposed to be... Uh, you know, it seems like an Acuna type guy, somebody that can hit for a little bit of power, steal a lot of bases, and uh, just be a great overall baseball player. So, Nick, you are our prospect uh, experts. What is your uh, what what are what's your thoughts on this? Eight years, eighty million. This I'll tell you in in a second. But this I I think about a former Philly who got a pretty big deal about six years ago <laughs> but not this much money so what are, what are your thoughts yeah yeah oh um i don't i get it i mean the guys i mean the most like prospect like baseball america mlb.com all the rankings he's like just right behind, he's in the top three you know in any one of those rankings like trailing right behind jackson holiday right um he hasn't played above the double a level if i'm not mistaken um, it's good to slash line 280, 336, 467, and 559 uh plate appearances. Um, he, he I think he tested triple A, but a ma- majority of his at bats and the majority of the bulk came in double A. Um, you know, great. I think they're gonna try and and have him get some at bats in spring training. I'd send him back to triple A, uh, because you don't want him to feel overmatched right away. I don't know, just it. It's a long time. It's a lot of money to commit. Now, in the long run, could it mean, yeah, they, they got a steal. They got a bargain on him, right? right? You're taking that risk. The Brewers are taking a risk. They really believe in this guy. He's a top prospect. But, I mean, how many times have we seen top prospects fizzle out? I mean, it just ha- it happens all the time. Um, you don't know. You don't know yet. Um, but, listen, he's, he's he's played really well. He's he's a really good hitter. He has, has has some pop, a little bit of power. I yeah, I mean, I, I see why they're giving it to him. I mean, when you're up there with Jackson Holiday, these guys are, are, are the top prospects in baseball for a reason. Um, I just, I always, I'm always wary about giving guys who've barely crossed the double A level um, this much money before they've really even stepped on a triple A field, let alone a major league field. Um, you know, he's, listen, he's got all the talent in the world, a, a player. That's going to be around for the Brewers in a long time. They expect him to be a franchise cornerstone. Okay. All right. You know, that's you're at six, eight years, 80 million. That's a lot of money um, to commit to someone who hasn't been there and done that yet. I, I'm always wary about it. I, I get nervous because you don't know. You don't know yet, especially with baseball. Baseball is the hardest sport to predict and project players. It, it is. It, you have no idea. Um, the signs look great. It's why they're giving them the contracts, why they're believing in them. Fine. I'm wary about it. I'm, I will always be wary about giving a prospect a contract like that before they even step on the field. I mean, we know the greatest example, Scott, and, and I don't, I don't, do you want, do you want to go and say it? I, I don't want to say it. 
Unless you, you were Scott Kingery? Say. Yeah, absolutely. What can Kingery. you say? Yeah. Kingery, oh, whatever. I don't know. I don't, cool. want to take, I, don't, I don't want to take your thunder. I don't want to take your oh, thunder. Oh, thank you. Oh, you are the hero. Um, you are the hero. I am the hero. See, I'm the hero. I should yeah, uh, just call me hero. I should be 100% to zero. Anyway, <laughs> um, that's the greatest example, man. I mean, he hasn't gotten out of AAA in how long now? He fizzled out, came up strong. I mean, Philadelphia Phillies fans, they see prospects come and go – Brown, Cody Ashy, Mikhail Franco start really hot. Derek Ruff, like all these guys start really hot and then kind of just fall, fall off the face of the earth. So, um, listen, good for him. Hopefully, he's an Acuna type. That'd be great. They got a bargain for eight years till 2030. <laughs> You're taking a yeah. risk. It's, it's as simple as that. You're definitely taking a risk. I think this is all about, like, for me, it's all about, like, what direction are the Brewers going in? Like, are they. Are they rebuilding? Are they going to get rid of Corbin Burns? Like, are they, I mean, Brandon Woodruff's not coming back. The money that they're giving this kid, to me, like, obviously, it's a big deal. Like, it is a big deal optically of, yeah. of you know, him getting this huge contract. But to me, it all depends on how, which, which direction you go in. Um, if you are rebuilding, that means you're not going to be spending a lot of money possibly in the next couple of years. But when, if, and when the brewers get to a certain point when they are ready to contend potentially, let's say, and this kid's maybe a little older, maybe he is panning out or isn't is, are the brewers spending their money in the right places, depending on how much they're willing to put out there. Right. Like, I don't know if the Brewers are really among those top teams as far as payroll. I'm pretty sure they're not. Like, going into 2024, let's see. They are, according to Spot Track, they are 26. The pack. No, they're 26th. Wow, 50 so they're million. Lower. 50 lower million. Lower than the middle of the pack. Wow. Yeah. So it, it just all depends on ownership and how much money they're willing to spend, whether it's on high price free agents or just in general, it all depends on the roster construction, right? Because this isn't basketball. This isn't the NFL or NHL who have salary caps. Again, like this is my whole point about the Aaron Nola signing, right? Now, I know it's different because Nola's 30 and he's not 19, but my point was, I don't know if I trust Nola as the number two for that uh, long term of a deal. I wanted them to get maybe even another starting pitcher. There's actually interest out there. I've heard that they still want Blake Snell, apparently, um, which would be very interesting. Um, but to me, if they were to get like a Yamamoto or Blake Snell, I wouldn't care about the money with Nola. All I'm saying was that if they didn't, uh, you know, if they decided that they weren't going to have enough money to get Snell or a Yamamoto, that that money that they could have used for Nola, they could have used for. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you know what I'm getting at? So yeah. all, all I'm, sa- no, I know, all I'm I, saying yeah, is I, I know what you're saying. They could have, they could have. Yeah. It's, no, it's Brewers, depending on how the Brewers are going to spend their money. I don't care about this as long as, you know, the money's right. going in the right places. So we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. You, you're saying they could have allocated their resources in different spots, different areas, maybe gone, you know, their playoff, they were a playoff team last year. They could have spent money elsewhere to maybe right. rebuild this team and retool for the next season. I get where you're from. Also, aren't they having discussions about the stadium too? That's going to be another thing that's going to be in play too. Like they like, is that true? I, I it's, you got to think about that stuff too. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they've had okay. uh, stadium issues. They want a new stadium. If I'm not mistaken. Um, I, so listen, the Brewers are, I would think maybe they want to try and tear it down because they want to get a new stadium. They'd want to you know build it back up and go into the new stadium with kind of a new era. You'll have the young players. I don't know that, 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 that's just something to think about. I don't think there's anything big on the stadium at like the Oakland A's were right now, but there, there's definitely talks about the issues with their, their stadium, um, and where they'll play. Um, I, I remember reading about that. So, you know, that's another factor, but yeah, I, I know what you're saying. You, you see, like, are they, why, why wouldn't you use these resources somewhere else? If you're not going to spend the money to go out and get these top big names that you have, I mean, you have guys like Christian Yelich on this roster. Um, you're losing Woodruff. Like, what do you do with Corbin Burns? Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. The Brewers are in a, in a funky spot 
And I, it's 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 awfully odd that they're giving him eighty million over eight years to a guy who hasn't even stepped on a major league field yet. Very interesting. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Um, but I think it's cool that they're uh, you know, they're willing to put this much faith into the guy. I think it's cool. Hey, but um, give him credit. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. All right. So let's revisit Juan Soto, who I actually just got a notification that is it here with the athletic. So <laughs> the Yankees and Padres are far apart in their conversation. <sighs> But another suitor has emerged. I have not oh. opened this. I have not opened this article yet. I'm going to open it right now. But anyway, last episode we talked about Juan Soto. I had him going to the Cubs. You had him go to the Yankees. I know you're going. You're keeping this take, right? Yes, I'm still going to keep it. They could be far apart, but I'm still keeping it. Okay, you're keeping it. Also, it says this article says the Blue Jays are one of several teams talking to the Padres about Soto. Interesting. Interesting. Otani? Are the Yankees? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are the Yankees going to let their division rival Blue Jays I don't outbid know. them for Juan Soto? Are they really no. the Yankees no. anymore? Their oh, egos are no. too big. That they're would be too dope. big. Cashman's ego will be too big to let that happen. I don't know. Cashman kind of sucks now. He does. He does. I'm just He's saying. Brian Cashman is not. He is they the need villain. A He's a villain. He's a villain. He's a villain. He's I'm a villain. Just Next show, let's come up with some heroes and villains in baseball. How about that? Ooh, that's a great one. This is, uh, I'm writing it down right now in the notes. I'm actually not kidding. I will show it to everybody. Here we go. Ideas, notes, <laughs> possible topics. Here we go. Boop, heroes and villains. Let's show the audience, shall we? Oh, there you go. Shown? Uh, yeah. Heroes and villains. Yo, uh, guess what? Oh, what? Speaking of heroes and villains, speaking of heroes what? and villains, that, is gonna, that has something to do with our final segment tonight. That is something to do with our final uh, segment. Uh, ooh, heroes I can't wait. I, I can't wait. We're actually. You know, it's funny. a lot, a lot of time in this, a lot of times in the show, especially the last show, we there's times where we don't talk baseball, um, and it happens that way. It just happens. Um, yeah. We are a well-rounded yeah. show. We are a well-rounded, diversified baseball show. I just want to say that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I all that to be said, Juan Soto, I think, is a Yankee actually now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah change, well, you know what? It, you, you know what did it for me? You texted me during the week. You're like, I should have just said to you because you were right, like usual. Oh, now you sound like a villain. You sound like a mean villain now. <laughs> we're switching roles. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's your. It's all your fault. So, yeah. but here's why though. It, it, it was honestly a key, a key thing that I I wasn't aware of. This is only according to Baseball America. I was re I was reading, um, who were the top five potential fits for Juan Soto because of prospect trade packages. And apparently the Cubs aren't willing to, or at least as a report, the Cubs are not willing to let go of a top, I think he's top 40 right now, prospect right-handed pitcher, Cade Horton. They're not willing to let go of him and they would probably need to include him for Juan Soto. So therefore, if the Cubs aren't willing to do that, then I have to say the Yankees. So it's like I was forced by design. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, Fred, see, but no. I read this report on the Cade Horton thing. If they wanted to give up Cade Horton, there's reports they were willing to do that, I would have kept my take. But there was a rational decision to it, is all I'm saying. Do you understand? Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Listen, <laughs> I... I think he's going to be a Yankee. I still think he's going to be there. I don't care. You know, they're far apart or whatever. It's, the Blue Jays, are they could be a sleeper all they want. They're, that's what they'll they'll end up being. They're going to be a sleeper team. He'll be a Yankee. I, I just, I, it's the gut of the Yankee. So let's go right in the next one then, right? Because, like, could the Blue Jays maybe actually be in play for Juan Soto or a Shohei Otani? Because apparently the reports are, it came out today, I believe, Earnshaw, 
that the Dodgers, Cubs, Blue Jays, and Angels are still interested. And now the Mets, Rangers, and Red Sox now turning attention to others. The Blue Jays are one of these teams, though, also mentioned for Otani. This is interesting. This is interesting because the Blue Jays, I, it feels like, I guess, even though they lost in the wild card round, I believe, to Minnesota last year, this past year, it feels like, at least from these reports, I just reports and rumors, it feels like even though they lose in the wild card round and they underperform expectations, that they are feel like or they feel like they are right there and that they can make a run if they want to get Juan Soto or Shohei Otani. So I don't know, man. Maybe they maybe they really are in play for these guys, man. Especially that's your update on Otani right there, man, by the way. The Mets, Rangers, Red Sox out but turning the attention to others, turning attention to others. LA, Cubs, Blue Jays, Angels all still interested. So I don't know. Yeah. What, are your, what are your general thoughts there? Do you are do you believe the Blue Jays are a real player for Otani and Soto? Maybe maybe they're a team that really feels like they're right there now. Still, um, I'm gonna say no. I I feel like they always feel like they're a team in on these top players. They don't seem to always land them. I don't know. I I, I wouldn't consider the Blue Jays a threat. I I think guys on the West Coast, whether it's the Dodgers, whether it's the Angels trying to retrieve him. Seattle. I, I think these are the teams that are going to end up with him. I, I just didn't, I didn't see him going to the East coast. I said this when we made our predictions about Otani, I don't see the blue Jays being a contender for him. Uh, and also he'd have to move countries again. First of all, he'd have to go to Canada <laughs> again to, you know what I mean? Like I to travel so the world. I'm just saying like, it would be a whole nother, a whole nother nightmare there. You know what I mean? So I think he's going to stay with one of the teams in the States. I think he's going to stay on the West Coast. It's just going to happen. I, I, it, it's just so obvious. They're going to throw everything at him. We're going to give him a whole bunch of money. He's going to be a, for, with a contender. It's done. I, he's going to be a Dodger. I, I'm sticking by that. And I think it's too. what's happening right now. I just don't see... I just don't see the Blue Jays really having any shot at getting him. San Francisco, another team that's going to be in play, very, very much a player uh, in the Otani sweepstakes. But I just, I don't see the Blue Jays really being in play for either. I, I just don't for Soto or Otani. Maybe they, they'll, they'll they'll get some secondary level guys after the Otani's and Sotos come off the market. But I just don't see it. Not seeing it. Yeah, I'm still, uh, I'm still Dodgers one right now. Cubs okay. two. I I don't know how the Angels are actual players in there. I'm I'm with you on the Giants still. Giants, <laughs> the Mariners are out. Um, yeah, yeah. I it's just the Dodgers still make the most sense. You know most what though? Sense. I'll say this. I'll say this. ESPN put out a like uh, something on Instagram of like Otani and like like ten different teams. You know him and photoshopped in ten different uniforms, and he looks good in a Phillies <laughs> uniform. I'm just saying he looks good in a Phillies uniform. I'm not saying he's definitely not going to Philadelphia, but all I'm saying, I'm pulling it up right now. He looks great in a Phillies uniform. I wish, Fran. I, I mean, would that's, kind of, that's kind of that's kind of a tease. Stop. That's a tease, bro. Look at that. Stop. He looks Stop. good. I can't do it. They I, I've seen he does. He looks fantastic. So Juan Soto, I've seen photoshopped in. I don't Yeah, know. not Soto not as much. So Tiny looks really good. Otani looks better. Can't say. Can't he doesn't say. look good Otani as a Yankee. Does look doesn't look good as a Yankee. I can't lie. He looks pretty good as a Yankee. I can't lie. He looks pretty. That, that I, I can see that. Yeah, I can actually, see I agree with that. He looks good at pinstripes. That. He looks good in pinstripes. That's the guess what it is. He looks good. He looks good in pinstripes. He actually looks good in almost every uniform. I'm, I'm kind of lying. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it looks really uh, good. He's in the best, uniform. It's because he's the best player in the freaking world. That that's why he looks good in every uniform. <laughs> yeah, but can you imagine can Aaron any, Judge? Can you imagine great. Aaron Judge in any other uniform <laughs> other than a Yankee uniform? He looked stupid. Hey, hey, hey! Last year, I, I, I could have seen Arson Judge in a San Fran uniform. That I could have seen. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess I could see him in a in a, Gi a Giants uniform. I, I could. Hey, that's about Arson, it, though. Arson Judge. I like, imagine, there. imagine Arson Judge. Yeah, I know, I know what you're doing. I'm dumb. Imagine Arson Judge it's in a Philly uniform. Like that looks stupid. Like, imagine Aaron Judge, Ar Arson Judge in a Phillies uniform. Does that make sense to you? 
No, just because the outfield's so crowded too. <laughs> I I don't I don't mean that. I mean like like just visually, does I know, it look? I know. Yeah, well, like, I stop know, being a villain. Stop being a villain. I'm being a <laughs> villain this segment. I switched. Are we switched the segment? We switched. Jeez. <laughs> Just dropped my mic. Uh, embarrassing. 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 You didn't know what I, you didn't know what NBA Street was. You didn't know what NFL Street was. Uh, now you're dropping your mic. It's an embarrassment. Spe- speaking of embarrassing. Ah, as some technical difficulties have us We're here back. on the ship today. We're, We're back. finally back. We We're are back. here. We are here. <laughs> I I don't know. It, We're going to end the show now. We're going to do our. <laughs> We're not going to talk about baseball. No, absolutely We're not. not. We're actually not going to talk about baseball. We're going to talk about. Look, me and Nick Earnshaw, we both really enjoy music. So, you know, we figure we talk about, there it is, our Spotify wrapped and Nick Earnshaw's Apple replay. Now, if you're not seeing this, um, you know, if you're listening to this on the podcast, if you're listen, listening on Spotify, if you're listening on Apple, Google, if you're listening, um, we can tell you who are. I, I don't know how you want to do this, Nick. You want to. You, you go first. You wanna, your top artist, your top songs, top five. I, know, I, I just want to rip your. I I, I want to. Can I, can, I, can, I, can I see that closer? Let me see. No, actually, I could. I got it. Okay. No, I'm good. So I don't want to. I'm actually not going to. I'm going to just give you my opinion on yours. Oh, okay. So 297 total artists. Yeah. That's a lot of artists. That's, that's yeah. a lot. Um, Future number one. I'm not a big future guy. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not big on the auto tune. It's fine. I respect it. He has his own lane. You know, I'm just not. It's just not my cup of tea. But I understand it, and that's your guy. I understand it. And you're a young guy. You are the future, so I get it. Wait, I got the. Hold up, we got that right here, right there. Is that a vinyl? <laughs> it's a vinyl. Nice. A vinyl, yeah. Okay. Got the vinyl. Do you have Autograph a record also. player? Now, do you have a record player, or are you just? I wish I could say I did. I just collect them as of right now. I would. A lot of people do I that. Know. A lot of people do that. But you can you can find cheaper record players if you're ever interested in getting one. Oh, here, here it is. Here's the one I was looking for. Yeah, this one's this one's autographed by the man himself. There we go. Okay. How many? Yeah. How many? Uh, how many albums does Future have out? Uh, it's a good. Oh God, where are we at now? Double He's digits. A... Yeah, I I think so. I'm not mistaken. I mean, if you count all like the mixtapes and all, then yeah, he's definitely way over double digits. Right, because like mixtapes like albums nowadays too. So yeah, like he he came out with the big mixtapes before, um, but studio albums he has. Oof, I want to say like ten. Yep, sounds about right. It's been like out that. for a while. One, two, been out for a while. Three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. Nine, I think he has nine, nine or ten out, nine or ten studio albums. The rest are all mixtapes. He's got a bunch of mixtapes. Okay. Yeah, cool. All right. Yeah. Well, I, I respect the future. I, I, I respect Travis Scott too. I, I, right. I think he's a big time artist. You know, he's a part of. I don't know. Good music still a thing. Kanye's label, but I don't. I don't know if it's. I think Pusha T was the last guy that was like the president of that, from what I remember. <laughs> Travis Scott. I don't really listen to his music like that. I've heard heard him on features. Um, he's on one of my favorite Sci High the Prince songs. Mm. Um, I forget what it's called, but um, Sci High and Travis Scott, and he's got okay. a really fun uh, chorus on it. All right, I really like it. So that's All my right. extent of Travis Scott. I respect it. Right. Drake, Drake, you know Drake's an all-time musical talent. Now I, the the Drake I like personally. Old Drake. This, Old Drake. Yeah, I'm like you know like. 2009 to like 2013 drake like right. take like even take care wasn't my cup of tea but i respect take care more like right. uh um nothing was the same drake okay um like forever like all that stuff like that i love all that type. yeah, yeah I, that's my drake i, my I don't drake. Like views drake and nah, views is okay if you're reading this is too late drake for me this is, is you that talked about this I, okay prime drake, i gotta listen man. prime drake, drake. But the new the new album I heard this year sucked. 
That's what I heard. That's what I heard. Zai. I don't listen to it. Zai. Zai. Yeah, but you're a fan, Zai. so it probably means it sucks. Zai. Um, Uzi, Uzi's not my cup of tea, man. Uzi's <laughs> not my cup of tea. I'm sorry, bro. He's not. He's just not. Like, right. and he's Philly, right? It's Philly guy. It's the Philly guy. I represent. Yeah, congratulations. I, I still don't care. He's boring. He's boring, <laughs> and I could care less about, <sighs> like, I just, it just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. I'm sorry. That's a disrespect because music music is all about taste and preference. It's just not my taste or preference. It's fine. And number five, I totally respect. He's a crazy man, but crazy. I love his music. Yeah. I love his music. Uh, you you had about what's that? A thousand minutes for Kanye? Yeah, a thousand minutes of a Kanye. Of, just over a thousand. That's a lot yeah. of minutes. A uh, lot of time with Kanye. <laughs> I'm a, a lot of time with a crazy man. I'm a big uh, I'm a big proponent for Kanye's first five albums. Even yeah. 808s and Heartbreak, I was actually kind of a fan of. Yeah. So you go from <laughs> college dropout to late registration to graduation to to beautiful dark twisted fantasy. Like those were some legendary albums. Yeah. So. I can always respect seeing Kanye as your fifth. Yeah. All right. All right. I appreciate it. So yeah, yeah. you didn't really rip it. You didn't rip it. I didn't rip it. I, you know, I gave my honest opinion on it. That's it. Yeah. I don't yeah. know any of those songs you got out there for your top songs. I'm well, well, oh, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Remember how I said Heroes and Villains it was going to come sure. back later? The first song is off the album, Metro Boomin's album, Heroes and Villains. That's the name of the album. How about ah, that? Hello. I was, we weren't even trying. How about that? Super oh. hero. It's an first yeah. song. It's first That's song. That's dope. Metro yeah. Boomin, Boomin Future, and Chris Brown. I, is that what it says? Yeah, Chris Brown has a little outro on there. Okay. Um, number five. Now, I got to talk about number five. My guy is a buddy of mine. He's a feature on the song. It's a oh. great song. Support support my buddy. Real flex. That's dope. Okay. You listen Real to flexing. that a lot. Real flexing. My guy. Yeah, my guy. So, that, that local artist, South Jersey. Give them the shine. Boom. South Jersey squad. Yeah. yeah. That's, that. that's, that's all. Yeah. That's all I got on the music. I, I, I respect, I, I respect it all. I can't, I have nothing bad to say about any of your, any of your stuff. Who's the Philly guy? Listen, that's, respect. that's, that's fine. It's great. I, I appreciate, I appreciate the feedback now for you. Yes. Go. We gotta listen. I, I have no problem with your, your taste in music. You're, you're, you're a metal guy, you like your alternative, you like your hardcore. I know you go to the shows, you're throwing bows and you're kicking yeah. around. I know that's yeah, your thing. Exactly. That's your thing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know these artists. I don't, I, it's not my cup of tea. It's just not my, my style. Right. right. But we got to talk about number four, number four ah. on your top artists. What happened? We went from hardcore metal rock to Taylor Swift. Yeah. You were, are you a Swiftie? Are you a closet Swifty? Oh my oh, goodness! A closet? It's been known that I like tell. I've talked about liking tell oh. the show. What are you talking about? I have four. I, you know, I thought you were like, oh, I'm a, yeah, I listen to some Taylor Swift. No, no, you are a you are a fan. You're a fan. I didn't realize you're how much of a fan this. you were. Hold up, you you already knew this. Don't act like you. You're no, you're no, no. The I didn't. Right no, no, no. I I knew, but I didn't know top five level. Top five. Yeah, I like her music. Her music is dope as hell, man. Her first couple albums were dope. Like, heck yeah, I'm a fan. Like, I like pop. I like her music. It's great. Top. Come on, bro. Top five. Yeah. Wait, I'm so sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I, I am too, though. You know what's crazy, oh, though? My goodness. Ever since I saw Taylor make out with Travis in Argentina or wherever she was, I was like, man, I'm getting tired of this now. It's just old. I'm just getting sick and tired of it. And I'm then getting you reminded tired me. Of it. You reminded me. So, listen. It's all right. It's all right. Listen, it's a good. Listen, you're, the rest of your list, great. I'm sure. Good, good. Some good music, some good bands. But four, we got to do something about four <laughs> next year. We got. I got to see a different number four next year. Maybe Hate Breed moves up a spot. Taylor gets knocked down a couple of bumps. <laughs> we got to get some Ariana Grande in there. Ariana Grande in there. Let's get her in there. She's, uh, Ari- she's I like, great. She's I, great. I am attracted to Ariana Grande. Her her voice is good too. So maybe Love I have to folk. check her out. It's all about the it's all about the, the music though. So I, I gotta I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check her out for real. Well, well, there it is. There's our there's our our wrapped and our our replay. Wrapped in replay. Yeah, let us know what you think. Do you do you recognize anybody on mine? Because obviously you probably recognize almost everybody on 
Earnshaw's the villain. So let me know. Look, a day to remember. If you if you if you're into like heavy music, you probably know who a day to remember is, which was not my number one artist. I didn't think they'd be my number one, but they were. If you're into heavy music, you might recognize Day to Remember. You also might might recognize uh, Knock Loose. They've gotten pretty big, and you might recognize Hatebreed too. Hatebreed's been around for twenty plus years. So, <laughs> if you're into heavy music, let me know. Get get at me on Twitter. I always love to talk about you know the music and stuff like that. Earnshaw knows that, but Earnshaw, I'm trying to get Earnshaw into heavy stuff, but he's just too much of a, you know, he gets in, he gets in the mosh pits at uh Travis Scott, wasn't it? No, Uzi. Little, I went to a little Uzi concert. I am going yeah. to see Travis Scott though soon too. Ooh, let's see. I I got it. Me and me and Tom Belton, we're gonna get you at a hardcore show. Right. You don't have to be in the pit. I just gotta, I just gotta have you see the experience. I just want you to see it. All right, all right. That's one all. day, one day. Man's like fifteen, twenty dollars to get in the door. It's just one nothing day. crazy, you know. One day. You see, and the best part about hardcore, bro, is that you're a part of the performance. Oh, you know what I mean? Great. That's that's it's, what I. That's just what I want to be a part of the performance. That's that's just. It's what like, I'm... you know how like look, my little brother has a choir performance tonight. You know, you're a part of the performance. I don't want to just go to concerts anymore just to watch live music. I want to be do. there, that's... so I. I'm That's not... the problem with you. That's your problem. I want to be a part of the show. I want to be stage diving. Why I want to be. Start a band? Stuff. Why don't you just start a band? It's different. It's not the same. I don't want to. Be... I mean, hey, I could be the. Yeah, you trying to be in the band? You could be the drummer. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah. Yeah, I could be the vocalist. Oh, oh man. That's not going to be a very good band. Damn. That was mean. <laughs> that was mean. Villain. Villain. If, Villain and the to, show. To, Villain to end the show. To, to end the show, if you if you were an artist, right? If you could play an instrument, if you could rap, if you could sing, if you could scream, like what what one thing would you do if you were an artist? Dude, I think the two instruments I'd want to play is guitar, number one. Number two, okay. piano. Piano always oh. fascinated me. Okay. Always fascinated me. I, I think it's, it takes a real skill to do. Real skill. Okay. Be cool. That'd be cool. Piano and guitar. Yeah, yeah, honestly, honestly, guy for me, like, I would love to be a vocalist for a band. Like, I think it's exciting. I think you're directing traffic to a certain extent. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. You're you're yeah. you're, you're the you're the yeah. head honcho yeah. up there. You know what yeah. I mean. You're the you're the guy the guy the girl. Like, I've seen great female vocalists too. Yeah. It's exciting. It's exciting. Awesome. I would love to direct traffic. I think yeah. that would be the fun part. In, we'll we'll keep that we'll keep that in in the dreams. In the dreams, yes, in the, in the vault. In the vault. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, exactly. All right, so that's gonna do it for the shift officially. Officially, uh, this has been another episode of the shift. Heroes and villains. That has been the theme for this episode. But we're gonna have, we might have some ideas about heroes and villains going forward. So this has been the shift for Nick Earnshaw. I'm Francisco Rojas. We'll talk to you guys soon.